NASCAR was a deadly sport, but they made some major changes after Dale Earnhardt Sr. died at Daytona 20 years ago, and not a single Cup Series driver has died on the track since then, not even Ryan Newman in this horrific crash last year. I'm Joe Kepner, and I talked with a first responder who was there for both wrecks. Hear her story with Newman and how the pandemic is impacting her job ahead of the Daytona 500. When he was leaving the hospital, I was on his case because I wanted him to wear shoes. And he was adamant that he was not going to wear shoes. <laughs> it was one of the most remarkable photos of 2020. Ryan Newman, shoeless, and holding his two little girls, walking out of Halifax Health in Daytona Beach just three days after a devastating wreck on the final lap of the Daytona 500. Crash into the wall! But the story of that night isn't just about Newman. It's also about the dozens of first responders who rushed to his side, including one he's known for a few years. We had everything at our disposal and, and he required it. And fortunately, you know, we're here today to continue to celebrate his life. Fee Roster is a registered nurse and part of the leadership team at Halifax Health. She was in Victory Lane that night as a fan and rushed to the hospital to help the team treating Newman. I have to thank everyone, starting from the Speedway, the law enforcement, you know, who helped his family, and then our folks here. Fee first met Newman at a fishing event at the Speedway a few years ago, and a few months after the wreck, she was one of the first people he hugged when he returned for a visit. I'm here to say thanks to everybody here at Halifax because I wasn't able to do it. I didn't know all the things that had happened or all the things that I had been through when I was here. The 43-year-old driver recorded this video for Halifax. He was knocked unconscious in that wreck and doesn't remember anything before waking up in the hospital. But for at least a couple hours, it seemed his injuries could have been even more traumatic. Seeing the wreck happen in real time, were you surprised that his injuries weren't worse? Yes. To this day, I cannot watch that video because it, it just hurts because I... You know, I was saying, oh, my God, you know, I, you know, I'm going to see you in victory lane. And then all of a sudden, in a blink of an eye, someone can be gone. Fee is speaking from experience. She's worked at Halifax Health for 31 years and was part of the infilled care team 20 years ago when Dell Earnhardt died at Daytona. NASCAR hasn't had an on-track death since that day, in part because of first responders like her. The crews are once again preparing for the Daytona 500. It was a task that is more complicated because of the pandemic, but NASCAR drivers and the rest of us can feel a little better knowing that people like Fee are there, keeping Central Florida strong. As for true preparation for any trauma patient, we do that on a daily basis and we do it well. Yeah, and absolutely. you know, again, we make mir miracles happen here. And so I I'm very proud of that. Catch the next WFTV tonight at 11.